In this video, we're going to talk about multiplying special cases of binomial expressions. Uh, we're going to talk about two different situations. The first is squaring a binomial, and the second is multiplying binomial conjugates. So let's go ahead and take a look at some of those. So first, we're going to talk about squaring a binomial. So if you remember what it means to square something, right? So we have this, we're saying x plus 7 quantity squared. Squaring just means that we're multiplying that by itself. So really what we have is x plus 7 times x plus 7. And that's really the first step that you always want to do anytime you're asked to square a binomial. Rewrite it as a product of two binomials. Because now we can use the methods that we've talked about before to help us multiply. So to do this, I'm going to use the distributive property for this problem. So I'm going to take the x and I'm going to multiply it through to both terms in our second binomial. So x times x, that's x squared. And then x times 7 is 7x. So we're done with that first term. We've multiplied it through to both terms. So we're going to move on to the second term. So 7 times x, that's 7x. And then 7 times 7, that's 49. So then we're going to go through and combine all of our like terms. So x squared has no like terms, so it's going to stay x squared. 7x plus 7x, that's going to be a 14x. And 49 has no like terms, so it'll stay 49. So our result is this um, quadratic trinomial. So we end up with this quadratic trinomial as our result of our product here. Um, for the second one, I'm actually going to use the... Uh, process of using the box. But before we start, we want to rewrite this as our um, product of two binomials, because remember when you square something, that's really all that it's telling you to do. So we're going to take the 4k minus 3 and put it into our box, and then use the box method to multiply. So 4k times 4k, so 4 times 4 is 16, k times k is k squared. 4k times negative 3, the 4 times negative 3, those multiply to give me negative 12, and we get k there. Negative 3 times 4k, so negative 3 times 4 is negative 12, and then we have k, and then negative 3 times negative 3 is 9. So again, the 16 squared, that doesn't have, uh, sorry, 16k squared, that doesn't have any like terms. These two are like terms. Since they're the same sign, we're going to add the values and take their sign, so it's going to be negative 24k and then nine also has no like terms, so plus nine. So this is how you would square a binomial. So basically you just take your binomial, rewrite it twice, and then use either the distributive property method or the box, uh, box method to do your multiplication. Now, if we were trying to multiply conjugates, binomial conjugates, um, it's again the same process as we would do to multiply any binomial. We just end up with a pretty interesting result. So first, what are conjugates? Uh, conjugates are just uh, binomial pairs that have the same values in their terms, but the signs between them are opposites. So we have this D and 11, and then notice that it's a positive and a negative. So those are conjugate pairs. So for this conjugate, I'm going to multiply using the distributive property. So I'm going to take D and multiply it through to both terms. So D times D is D squared d times negative 11 is negative 11d. So we're done with that first term. Multiply the 11 through. So 11 times d is positive 11d. Positive 11 times negative 11 is negative 121. Now, something interesting about this is this negative 11d and this positive 11d, when we combine like terms, ends up canceling. So we really end up with a d squared. And then we have this negative 121 here. Now this result we call a difference of squares. Now it's called a difference because of the subtraction, and it's a difference of squares because d squared and 121 are both perfect squares. So actually, anytime you multiply binomial conjugate pairs, you're gonna you're gonna result in a difference of squares. So that's kind of why what makes this a special case. So let's try this uh, next example. So again, I'm gonna use the distributive property. So take x squared and multiply x squared. So remember when you're multiplying powers with the same base, you add the exponents. x squared times negative 4, so that's going to be minus 4x squared. So we're done with that first term, so we can move on to the 4. So 4 times x squared, that's going to be positive 4x squared. And then positive 4 times negative 4 is negative 16. And again, we have a positive and a negative 4x squared, so those end up canceling. 
and we are left with x to the fourth minus 16. Now this doesn't look as straightforward as a uh, difference of squares, but x to the fourth is really just x squared squared, and then we know 16 is four squared. So again, we get a difference of squares. So I have two problems here that I want you to try on your own. The first one is multiplying conjugate uh, binomial conjugates, and then the second one is squaring a binomial. So go ahead and work through both of these, and then we'll come back together and talk about them. So go ahead and pause the video and try working through these on your own now. All right, so in doing this first one, when you distribute the t cubed in, you get t to the sixth plus six t squared. And then when we just distribute the negative six, we're gonna get the negative six t cubed. So that's what caused these to cancel. And a negative six times a six is 36. So we end up with this. Now the second one is a little interesting because we have variables in both of these. Um, so what happens when you're multiplying something like this? So first we need to rewrite this as a product of itself right, this times itself. So we know when we do two X times two X, we get four X squared, but two X times four Y, so you multiply the two and the four to give you eight, it's a negative, so negative eight. And then X times Y, we can't really put those together at all, so we're just gonna call it X, Y. Uh, and then we do the same thing here with the negative four Y and the two X, and we're gonna get negative four times two is eight, and then X times Y is X, Y. Now the order of these doesn't really matter as far as when you're doing your multiplication because of the commutative property. So X times Y and Y times X is the same thing. Um, but generally when we're writing our answer, we always try and write it alphabetically. So that's why the X comes before the Y. And then negative four Y times negative four Y, negative times a negative makes this positive, and then Y times Y is Y squared. So when we're combining these, these are the only ones that are like terms because they have the exact same variable composition. So they both have an X and a Y to the first power. So we can combine those. And since they both are negative eight, we can add them to be a negative 16. So we get four X squared minus 16 X Y plus 16 Y squared.